Hello everyone, welcome back to Black Moon Coven. So today's topic is going to be animism. So I know we touched on this really, really briefly in my folk magic video, and I think some of these Slavic paganism videos, but we never really discussed what is animism. So that's what we're gonna be discussing today. So before we begin, this is a one witch, one opinion video, meaning that I am just one little witch. My opinion is just one little opinion meaning that there are many, many different opinions, many different practices and beliefs on animism. Um, mine is only one out of a million. So if you do not agree with my practices, that's perfectly fine. That's what makes witchcraft so beautiful. So what is animism? It's not a religion, first of all. It could be considered a religious view, but it's more like a spiritual guideline, a spiritual view. It's one of the oldest spiritual beliefs that ever existed since the beginning of man. So it's one of the oldest, oldest basis of religion. That's where people believe religion actually came from, is this view of animism and then it kind of evolved into worshiping gods and then so on and so forth into what religions we have today. So animism is not a religion. Second, it is the belief that everything from plant life, animal life, insects, natural occurrences, and geography all have souls and links to the divine. Things from a small rock to the moon all have their own souls and should be treated with respect. So things like small rocks, rivers, mountains, hills, all have souls, okay? They all have a spiritual connection to the divine. So as far as, you know, animals go, plant life, insect life, they all have spirits, they all have a soul. So when they die into that threshold, you know, there is a soul there. That's what links them to the divine, to the higher power, whatever you want to believe. So I know I talked a little as well in my familiar video about animism, just because the popular view of animals can't be familiars bothers me because I'm an amnist. And that means that I believe animals have souls, they're connected to the divine, they have spirit. Therefore, I believe that yes, familiars can be animals, that can be plants, that can be anything you want it to be. But that is another point. Go check out my familiar video if you want to know my views on that. But basically it just dictates that everything should be treated with respect because everything is connected. That is the basis of animism. And that is the oldest belief in the book is that everything is connected together by this spirit soul connection to the divine. So a little history on animism. It is the earliest form of spiritual belief, obviously found common in pre-ancient people who didn't worship gods, but worshiped everything instead. So they didn't worship gods just yet. They probably worshiped the sun, the moon, the grass, the leaves, the rocks, everything. Everything was an individual spirit. Everything was an individual sort of deity in a way. Okay, it wasn't a god per se yet. They maybe, maybe viewed it as a god, but it wasn't called that yet. So the word animism was coined in 1871 by Sir Edward Tyler in his book, Primitive Culture. So he didn't really agree that animism is this new thought form or anything. He thought that it was really primitive and it was based on uneducated beliefs. So it was basically a belief of people who didn't know any better. So it's not like he was for animism, it's not like he was against it, but he was just pointing out the fact that, yes, these are, these are ancient beliefs, you know, and ancient people weren't as evolved as we are now. So they thought, yes, everything like the sun coming up in the morning was a significant event. So many religions across the world have a form of animism as a belief. Um, it's only practiced now by more spiritual paths, so like witchcraft, shamanism, different types of spiritual paths um, practice animism in their own way. Um, even more like bigger religions have a core in animism as well. So it just goes to show you that this ancient, primitive, uneducated belief is still alive in many of different cultures and many different religions just because it's so primitive. I feel like it's always going to be a part of us. 
So animism is just a really core belief in any spiritual path or um, any religion. So animism and witchcraft, how do I combine the two? So animism kind of goes hand in hand in witchcraft, you know, nature loving, earth worshiping, witches, of course, animism kind of goes hand in hand. However, these are my three beliefs or principles when it comes to animism. The first one being, I respect and worship the earth and all living things and nature in itself, as is. So that means that I worship everything on the earth, you know, animals, plant life, insect life, rocks, trees, the sky, clouds, sun, moon, everything. I worship it individually and I worship the earth as a whole and nature as a whole and mother nature is a really big, big deity of mine. And um, yeah, I feel like it's a separate thing from these different gods and goddesses, but that's like a whole another video. So basically worship the earth as a whole and everything on it and nature in itself. So I acknowledge that everything has a spirit that lives in the unseen world beside our own. So I will do a video about the unseen world and my beliefs on that as well, that's coming up. However, there is a world that is right beside our own. So if you are into Stranger Things, more commonly it's referred to as the upside down in pop culture, but there is a world that's right beside our own that's separated by a threshold. So this world is filled with souls and spirits and deities and folk creatures and demons and all of the magical things that are, doesn't it really exist here. They can cross over, you know, we can't really cross there um, without experience and practice, but they could cross over here, whatnot. So there is a world right beside our own and I acknowledge that everything has a spirit that lives there. So I honor and worship everything like it has a spirit, like it has a soul. The last one is I am a part of nature and I am not superior. So. As a witch, um, I worship nature, but I know that I am not superior nature. You know, I'm a part of nature. I'm a creature of nature. You know, humans, yes, we're human, but you know, we're a part of the earth. We're a part of nature in a whole. So that's in itself is an animism belief because we are all connected that way. We are all humans. We do live on the earth and we are part of nature. We're not separate, we're not superior, we're not higher up, we don't control nature. There is this balance there between us and nature. So that is basically it. I um, hope everyone enjoyed this video. I thought it was pretty well put together. So follow me on all of my social media, especially Pagan and Witches Aminos, where I post some amazingly cool blogs. And um, yeah, check out my Etsy page all of that good stuff, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. It's all gonna be down below in the description. So until next time, I will see you guys.